hello friends today we are going to discuss position of lines part 3 in my previous videos we have discussed position of point and projection of line inclined to one plane and parallel to other as well as position of line inclined to both the planes now today we are going to discuss few examples on position of lines uh let's take first example line ab is 75 mm long and it is 30 degree and 40 degree inclined to hp and vp respectively and a is 12 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp draw projections if the line is in first quadrant now before solving this example let me tell you that to solve any problem on projection of lines we require at least five data and it is very necessary that you should interpret the data in a proper way if you fail to interpret the data then you will not able to get on solution so let's uh, write the data uh, what has been given line ab is 75 mm long and it is 30 degree and 40 degree inclined to hp and vp respectively means the true length of a line is given that is line ab is 75 mm long so true length is equal to 75 and this true length is inclined at 30 degree to hp that means theta is 30 degree and 40 degree inclined to vp so inclination of vp we show by using symbol phi and it is equal to how much 40 degree and a is 12 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp the position of point a is given which is 12 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp as i told you to solve any problem on position of line we require at least five data so here we are having five data first true length second inclination with hp third inclination with vp fourth position of point a which is 12 mm above hp and fifth one is 10 mm in front of vp now let's plot first the given data so draw x y axis draw on projection line and on this projection line just plot the projection of point a so point a is 12 mm above hp so above 12 mm above x y plot point a and mark a dash then 10 mm below x y mark point a then draw the locus of point a in top view after that draw a locus of from point a in front view now what has been given true length is given 75 mm and inclination with hp is given 30 degree so draw a line at an angle of 30 degree equal to true length so draw a line equal to true length and at an angle of how much 30 degree and mark end point as b1 dash as i told you that we always mark true length as a dash b1 dash in front view and in top view a dash b dash a, uh, sorry a in top view a b now from point a draw a line inclined at an angle of 40 degree because inclination with vp is how much 40 degree so draw a line from point a equal to true length which is 75 mm and mark it as point b1 now draw locus of point from b in front view draw locus of point from b in top view so we got four locus we have mark all the data that is position of point a true length uh, we have shown uh, true inclination theta as well as phi now let's find the apparent length to find the apparent length in front view draw projection from point b up to the locus of point a in front view so i have taken look projection from point b1 up to the locus of point a in front view now take a dash as a center and radius equal to a dash 1 so either radius equal to a1 or from a dash to here take a dash as a center and radius equal to a1 draw the arc up to 
locus of point B in front view. So I have drawn an R up to locus of point B in front view. Mark it as point B dash. So here I got the line A dash B dash which is apparent length in front view or you can say the front view length of line AB. Now to draw the apparent length in top view as I told you the starting point and end point of the apparent lens are in one line. So here A and A dash are in one line same way B dash and B will be will be in one line. So from B dash take a projection down up to the locus of point B in top view. Now join a B. So this is the apparent length in top view. Very easy. I hope you got this problem. So we have marked here all the data theta phi. You can also mark alpha as well as beta. Alpha is the apparent inclination with HP. Beta is the apparent inclination with VP. Now let's take another problem. Line A B. 75 millimeter long makes 45 degree inclination with VP while its front view makes 55 degree and A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP. If line is in first quadrant, draw its projections and find its inclination with HP. Now just write the given data. What has been given? The line AB 75 millimeter long that means true length of a line is equal to how much 75 millimeter and this true length max 45 degree inclination with VP. So inclination with VP is given that means phi phi is given which is 45 degree. So true inclination with VP which is equal to phi which is equal to 45 degree while its front view max 55 degree. The front view inclination is also given. That means apparent length in uh, apparent inclination in front view is also given. So alpha is equal to how much? 55 degree. And A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP. So position of point A is also given and A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15, 15 millimeter in front of VP. So total 5 data we got. Now let's start doing the problem. So first draw xy line, draw one projection line and on that projection line mark projection of point A which is 10 millimeter above HP. So we got A dash and 15 millimeter in front of VP. So we got 15 millimeter below xy line point A. Draw locus of point A in top view, draw locus from point A in front view. Now what has been given? True inclination with VP is equal to 45 degree. So from point A, draw a line inclined at an angle of 45 degree, which is equal to how much true length, which is 75 millimeter. So draw a line at an angle of 45 degree from point A, which is equal to 75 millimeter. Mark it as true length and the end point of the line is B1. Now what is the next thing that has been given? Front view inclination is 55 degree. So draw a line at an angle of 55 degree okay which is alpha but this length of front view is not given to us. So now we have already plot all the data all the five data and now here we have to find the apparent length in top view as well as we have to uh, find true length in front view. So true length will be always same. Uh, maybe it, it may be in front view or it may be in top view. So first draw the locus of point B in top view. Draw the look from point B1. Take projection up to locus of point A in front view. So from this is the point B1. I mark A B1 as true length. So from point B1 take the projection up to 
point A in front view. Now take A dash as a center and the radius is equal to A1 or from A dash as a center and the radius is equal to from A dash to up to this particular arrow. Draw an arc cutting the apparent line in front view. So when you withdraw the arc, this arc will cut this apparent length in front view at this particular point. So this point will become the B dash and that is A dash B dash is the length in front view. Draw locus from point B in front view. Now problem is solved. Take position from point B dash up to the locus of point B in two of you. Mark it as point B, join AB. So we got apparent length in two of you. Measure the true length and take A dash as center. Mark cut the locus of point B in two of you. So take A dash as center. Radius is equal to true length a dash as a center and cut this locus on uh, locus of point B in profile. So here we got the we got point B1 dash. So a dash B1 dash we got true length in front view also. Also, and a b1 is true length in profile. Let's discuss third problem. Front view of line AB is 50 degree inclined to XY and measures 55 millimeter long while its top view is 60 degree inclined to XY line. If end A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP, draw its projections. Find true length inclination of lines with HP and VP. Now let's plot the given data. So what has been given? Front view of line AB is 50 degree inclined to xy that means front view inclination is given which is alpha which is equal to how much 50 degree and measures 55 millimeter long so front view length is also given which is equal to 55 while its top view is 60 degree inclined to xy line so top view inclination which is which is what beta and which is equal to how much 60 degree this is also given if end A is 10 millimeter above HP and 15 millimeter in front of VP, that means position of point A is given, draw its projections. Let's draw it. So draw XY line, draw projection line. On this projection line, mark position of point A. So point A is 10 millimeter above HP, so above XY. A dash will be there. Below XY at 15 millimeter, point A is there. Now what has been given? Front view inclination which is 50 degree. So draw locus first from point A. Draw locus from point A in front view. So front view inclination is 50 degree. So draw a line at an angle of 50 degree from point A dash. Front view length is also given 55, measure 55 millimeter and mark it as point B dash. From draw the locus from point B dash. Now top view inclination is given which is 60 degree. So from point A draw the line at an angle of 60 degree. So as we know the starting point and end point of apparent length are in one line. So from B dash now project the line downward. So here you will get the point B. and draw the locus from point B. So apparent length we got it now let's make it parallel. So from A dash take A dash as center A dash B dash as radius draw the arc up to the locus of point A in front view project it downward up to the locus of point B in top view and mark it as B1 join AB1. So this is the true length of a line. Take AB1 in a compass take a dash as center and mark b1 dash so the problem is solved so true length alpha beta theta everything we got here i hope you like this video uh, thanks to all of you do like share and subscribe my